spread the gospel, plant Lutheran churches, show mercy. Hello members of Faith Lutheran. My name is Teresa Cray. I am a nurse by vocation and currently serving in the Dominican Republic as a missionary nurse. I am originally from Windsor, Ontario, Canada. Yes, I do say A, no, I do not say boot, and I'm the youngest of nine siblings. My nine siblings and I were raised by my mother and father. My father was a Lutheran pastor and he was very mission-minded. So fun fact, I am one of four siblings who are currently serving with the LCMS in foreign missions. My eldest brother, Pastor Cray, is serving also here in the Dominican Republic. My sister Johanna and her family are serving in Ethiopia. And then my twin brother, James, is serving in Puerto Rico. I began my work with the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod in August of 2019, completed my support raising, and arrived in the Dominican in February of this year. This is the picture of when I arrived. Our LAC region is made up of 40 plus missionaries and their families serving in 10 different countries. So everything you see on this map in red, so Central and South America, the Caribbean, and Spain, is our region. As the Human Care Coordinator, I am blessed to care for all of these missionaries and their families emotionally, spiritually, and physically. So that means a lot of advocating, talking with them, encouraging, answering medical questions, etc. This is a picture of our missionaries that was taken last year. We're blessed to be able to gather once a year for fellowship, rejuvenation, and being in the Word. I live in the Dominican Republic, which shares the island of Hispaniola with Haiti. It's home to 10 million Spanish speakers. Tu hablas espanol? For the past seven months, I have been taking regular Spanish classes. In fact, it's been a large part of my role here, as language is vital to our work. I am blessed to say that each day I am learning new vocabulary and conjugations. The LCMS's work began here 15 years ago, so in the eyes of missions, our work is relatively new. However, the Lord has exceedingly blessed our work here, and we have a lot going on. This is our church in Palmar Arriba, where we first began our work. But this building, which is three stories high, doesn't just host our church, but also hosts our school, our Mercy Center, and our seminary. Beside this building is our group home for young adults with disabilities. This is our church in Pueblo Nuevo, our church we have in the center of Santiago. Have you ever wondered what a typical church service might look like? Well, this is it. We have chairs that are easily stackable, our windows wide open to allow for a breeze as it's very hot in the Dominican, and then we have either a divine service or a service of the word, and we sing typical hymns that you would sing in the United States, except everything is in Spanish. This is Osama, our newest church, and is located in Santo Domingo, the capital of the Dominican Republic. We just confirmed our first six members here this year, thanks be to God. In the Dominican, alongside of our five churches and various preaching stations, we're blessed to have a group home for young adults with disabilities. Unfortunately, in the Dominican, the care for young adults with disabilities is very poor, and so we saw this need for ministry. I'm looking forward to continuing to work with them. We opened our seminary in 2017. We currently have men from 12 different countries, some studying here in residence and some studying from a distance. We focus heavily on teaching evangelism and church planting, as many of these men will go back to their countries and plant a church as their first congregation. Our Regional Mercy Center equips missionaries, laypeople, diaconal, and seminary students around our region to be the hands, feet, and mouth of Christ. They do this by putting on workshops and courses on evangelism, life issues, disaster response, and more. I'm looking forward to teaching health education out of our Mercy Center as well. Another part of my role is to care for those in our communities. One way I do this is by going on visitations with our pastors and deaconesses and seminary and diaconal students. It's amazing that we're able to care for those in our community in both body and spirit. I'm looking forward to returning to these after our restrictions are lifted a bit more because of COVID. To summarize my work here in the Dominican Republic, I care for our missionaries around the LAC region. I do visitations with our pastors and deaconesses. I educate about health and I swear the gospel of Jesus Christ. Faith Lutheran members, thank you so much for joining me today. If you would like to support me, there are three great ways to do that. Firstly, through prayer. I am most grateful and humbled for any kind of prayer. Secondly, encouragement. Please join my Facebook, Instagram, or newsletter list. Send me a note of encouragement. They're huge blessings to me. And thirdly, financially, as LCMS missionaries, we work under the network support model, meaning we raise our own funds. So any kind of donation, whether it's five, ten dollars, you got that half million dollar check on you, 
We are most grateful and thankful for anything because it allows me to continue to serve here and tell others of Christ. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you all again soon. God bless. John fourteen six says, Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me.